This is going to be part 12 and possibly the last one we'll see in the series of tutorials for uh, building our Panic at the Disco app. And actually all our parts are working and hopefully already even built to Oculus. And uh, other than the effect we're going to add on the camera, you might have noticed that when you build to Oculus, there's a little, let's say, out of sync between what you see and what you hear. I'm going to remind you that they're in the, in the music container. This is exactly why we have two music uh, objects, one with delay and one that's being heard. The one that's with delay is the one being analyzed, but it's not heard. And the one that's being heard has no delay. So the one with the delay right now has no delay. And the reason it has no delay is because the desktop has a really fast processor. But as we build to the Oculus, we might find that we need to change this number. We will talk about it by the end of this tutorial. Um, but for right now, we're going to add our last part. The reason we're going to do the delay last is because the effect we're going to add to the camera might add a few uh, even more cpu load so the the time to determine the delay is after everything has been added and the last thing we're going to add is some post processing which we've done in the past so this will remind us of the steps how to do it if this worked let's add the last touch uh some post processing from the camera we're going to go to the package manager and in the packages called unit unity registry or in other words like the core ones we're going to search for the word post and if it's not installed we're going to install it let me zoom out so we can see all the text so i'm going to you uh window package manager not packages in project but unity registry takes a second because you know it's basically fetching them online uh, and I'm going to look for the word post and it tells me that there's a package called post processing uh, this is its latest version February uh, 22 I'm recording this video uh, the middle of March 22 so as of right now it's the latest package and I'm going to install it doesn't take that long And as it's installing, we can read that it's not just the ability to add post-processing, but it also comes with like sample collection effects. Um, some of them we actually used in the drive um, application. I am waiting it for it to compile. What I also need is to cool down my computer a little bit. Okay, and now it's installed. Once it's installed, uh, one of the things we need to make sure of, and the guide says that, is that under Edit, Project Settings, Player, that our color space is linear. Um, then, Install, Edit, Project, uh, Color Space, Linear. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is, uh, on the center eye anchor, which is really our camera, uh, create and assign a layer. And I'm going to give that layer any custom name that I want. I'm going to call it My Post. So, in the camera, open tracking space, center eye anchor. Remember, this is not a tag, it's a layer. So, instead of layer default, I'm going to go to an Add Layer. And if there's any layer that is... Uh, available that hasn't have a doesn't have a name yet i'm going to give it and once i have a layer i can select center eye camera and actually give it that layer next uh in ovr project setting oculus multi-pass let's do that too um it's also important for the fire uh, and especially for post-processing effects, the rendering mode needs to be, um, here it is, project settings, Oculus, I believe we took care of that at the very beginning, but I'm going to check it again. Multi-pass, is that multi-pass? Yes. On camera, add a component, rendering post-processing layer. So the camera, which is the center eye anchor, add component. I don't need to search for anything. I'm just going to look at the folders that it gives me with the categories and one of them is rendering post processing layer um, 
post-processing layer. Here it is. And I need to do just, you know, basically one thing to it. It says layer nothing. I need to say you belong to the layer my post because the whole camera belongs to it. The next thing I'm going to do um, after I assign on camera, add set layer to my post, add another component, which is volume. Add component, rendering post processing volume, check global and click new to create a new uh, profile. So add component, again, rendering, this time not layer, but volume. And let's find it. And I'm going to check is global because it, it will affect everything. Uh, under profile, it says none. So I'm going to click new and it creates a new profile. It puts it somewhere in the, actually, I think at the top of the assets. Uh, and now I can finally add effects, which is the next step. Add effect. And the only effect we're going to add is bloom. Bloom, remember, is like that haze like that halo created around lights when the air has particles in it, in reality. So this mimics that. Uh, here are the parameters that I thought would look cool. Uh, remember, if you don't check any parameters, it does nothing. I'm doing intensity, threshold, and anamorphic ratio. So I'm going to add effect, unity, bloom. I'm going to see how right now it does nothing because I have not enabled any part of that bloom, but I'm going to enable intensity, threshold, and anamorphic ratio. For intensity, I'm going to give it five. Notice that it doesn't look like it's doing much because we need to lower the threshold to one. Now I can start seeing, see that uh, bloom, that, uh, you know, like haze around the lights. I would not exaggerate with that because uh, through the Oculus, it would look very bloom. Um, the other thing I would do is under anamorphic ratio, I like an anamorphic ratio of negative one because it makes it like even more pronounced. Um, and that's basically it. Let's see. Um, five, zero and negative one. That's it. I can even give it a color, but I think I, I, my lights have enough colors. Uh, sometimes to force render, you might have to select the camera, but I did have to. I did select the camera. I think it deserves one more maximize on play and see what it looks like with the bloom. Everything that has lights, especially see how like the speakers are emitting lights. So it has that little bloom around them. I think it makes it look awesome and very appropriate for this atmosphere we're trying to create. There's also going to be a bloom around, you know, all those uh, light cookies and a bloom around the fire. I believe you can see the difference. As if the, the air has some, you know, fog in it or something. That is really the end of our steps. Um, Built to Oculus, if you notice that the visuals and music are a little out of sync, you go to the music with delay, sound delayer, and you change how much delay to about 0 0.03, which is 30 milliseconds. I've experimented with it, and with my Oculus 2, that's pretty much how much it needs, uh, like a delay of the music to make sure that it uh, catches up with, or that the visuals are catching up with the music. Uh, so I'm going to go to music with delay, and there's a parameter called how much delay, and I'm going to make it 0 0.03 of a second, or in other words, 30 milliseconds. And now when I play it in a desktop, it's going to look like it's out of sync, but in the Oculus, it's going to look in sync. Before we're done, uh, here are some customization ideas which might turn into lab assignments. What else can we do? We're standing there with... a uh, camera rig basically on our heads and it has a left hand and a right hand why don't we attach some things like lights to our hands that would be actually kind of cool so when we dance around our hands are moving or, you know we can have like you know like a, a flashlight uh, uh, or any kind of light that emits from our hands the other idea that we can have is to create a playlist of tracks right now it's playing one song uh, here are some ideas on, in this link on how to create a playlist of audio sources instead of just playing one. There's some ideas here and some ideas here. And if we don't like being alone in this dome, if you remember from our um, city um, 
app, the, the city uh, uh, treasure hunt uh, app, there's a website called Mixamo where we can bring in characters. Now, if we want those characters to dance in the BPM of this particular music, it's 128. 128 beats per minute means that if there's 60 seconds in a minute divided by 128, then each beat or each measure, yeah, it's actually each quarter, uh, each beat is 0. Uh, six eight per second so any multiple of that in the length of animation on our mixamo uh, characters will make them dance more in beat uh in class we're going to dis discuss a lot more ideas for customizing this but as far as the uh required steps we are done good luck <laughs>